Welcome to the reading of the 19th chapter of this amazing book, Your Faith is Your Fortune by Neville Goddard. My name is Sensei and I'm going to be reading this along with you. So go ahead, grab yourself your cup of tea, coffee, water, make yourself comfortable and let's just jump right in. Chapter 19 Liquid Light The text is from Acts chapter 17 verse 28. In him we live and move and have our being. Physically, this world appears as an ocean of light containing within itself all things, including man, as pulsating bodies enveloped in liquid light. The biblical story of the flood in Genesis 6 and 6 to 8 is the state in which man lives. Man is actually inundated in an ocean of liquid light in which countless number of lights beings move. The story of the flood is really being enacted today. Man is the ark containing within himself the male female principles of every living thing. The dove or idea which is sent out to find dry land is man's attempt to embody his ideas. Man's ideas resemble birds in flight, like the dove in the story, returning to man without finding a place to rest. If man will not let such fruitless searches discourage him, one day the bird will return with a green sprig. After assuming the consciousness of a thing desired, he will be convinced that it is so, and he will feel and know that he is that which he has consciously appropriated, even though it is not yet confirmed by his senses. One day man will become so identified with his conception that he will know it to be himself, and he will declare, I am, I am that which I desire to be. I am that I am. He will find that as he does so, he will begin to embody his desire. The dove or desire will this time find dry land, thereby realizing the mystery of the word made flesh. Everything in the world is a crystallization of this liquid light. I am the light of the world. John 8, 12, John 9, 5, John 12, 46. Your awareness of being is the liquid light of the world, which crystallizes into the conceptions you have of yourself. Your unconditioned awareness of being first conceived itself in liquid light, which is the initial velocity of the universe. All things from the highest to the lowest vibrations or expressions of life are nothing more than different vibrations of velocities of this initial velocity. Gold, silver, iron, wood, flesh, etc. are only different expressions of velocities of this one substance, liquid light. All things are crystallized liquid light. The differentiation or infinity of expression is caused by the conceiver's desire to know himself. Your conception of yourself automatically determines the velocity necessary to express that which you have conceived yourself to be. The world is an ocean of liquid light in countless different states of crystallization. This brings us to the end of the reading of the 19th chapter of this powerful book, Your Faith is Your Fortune. As always, I'm curious to know what resonated with you as you listened to the reading of this chapter. Leave me your comments in the comment section. And if you haven't already, what are you waiting on? Hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and share this content with anyone who you know could use faith turning into fortune. Till we see you again, it's goodbye and God bless.